Welcome back to the Ski Letics Cup 2021. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, the Ski Letics Cup is an opportunity for us to bring Fisher athletes from all over the world uh, to compete in head to head challenges using some of our Ski Letics exercises. Um, the Ski Letics program is really designed to keep your muscles moving and in, um, ready for ski condition uh, during the summer and even during the season. If you want to learn more about these exercises, check them out at skiletics.com. Uh, today, we've got our third battle against uh, Kanton and Christopher. I'm going to introduce these guys here in a second and find out what they're up to. Um, Kanton, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm in shape. And uh, yes, it's a uh, good, uh, good competition today with uh, some uh, Alpine uh, skier. And uh, yes, it's uh, not uh, not the... Super fun to see the athlete, uh, Alpine and Nordic athletes competing against each other. Um, Kanton, where are you calling in from today? Uh, it's a training day for me. Uh, we are in the training camp uh, last week and uh, we continue to, to training. It's uh, like uh, maybe uh, all, uh, all, uh, all week and uh, it's a hard part of me of the training and uh, that's, uh, yes. I um, focus already focus for for the Olympic game. Awesome. And uh, which country do you compete for, and what's your discipline of skiing? Uh, for for the moment, we stay in France for the training camp. But uh, we in in two in two weeks, we will go in Norway for the competition in Blink Festival. And uh, yes, uh, it's uh, first competition of the of the season with uh, some other athletes like Norwegian and maybe other nation. And uh, yes, and uh, we are a little bit far for the season, but uh, uh, we thinking uh, already of the competition uh, with the uh, Norwegian. <laughs> awesome. Um, great. Well, we'll catch up with you here in a little bit. Christopher, how are you doing today? Yeah, great. On vacation. So um, putting up the speed now to face Canton in this uh, challenge. So I hope I can get my body moving. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking some time out of your vacation. It looks pretty beautiful where you are. Um, where are you calling from today? It's uh, on an island in Sweden called Öland. So cool. pretty south of Sweden. Yeah. Awesome. Um, what's your discipline of skiing and which country do you compete for? I compete in alpine skiing and uh, I'm skiing mostly in the tech disciplines that slalom and giant slalom and also parallel. And I'm competing for Sweden. Awesome. Um, what was your most memorable moment from this past season? Uh, we managed to take the second place on the World Championship in uh, the team event. And uh, also I was on a really good way on the, my favorite discipline in slalom and uh, just didn't make it. And uh, so the World Championship was uh, a really highlight for me last season. Awesome. Congrats on that. Um, I saw you've been up to some golfing and training um, this off season. How, how has that been? Yeah, I mean, it's been a lot of golfing. I used to play paddle, but I had to make a small, small surgery after the season. So I've been skipping the paddle a lot, but uh, it's, yeah, it's been a good summer with uh, good physical training and I'm starting to get in shape. Awesome. Well, that brings us to our battle today. We're going to be competing in the squat jumps. Um, Kanton, do you use the squat jump in your training? Uh, yes, uh, a little bit during the strong training. It's uh, the... It's uh, some part of my training. Uh, most of my training, we do some uh, endurance training with roller, roller ski running or biking, but uh, it's uh, in the fitness training, we use a little bit squat jump and uh, yes, uh, very good uh, exercise for to stay strong on the legs. Awesome. And you already done with your training for the day. So hopefully you're nice and warmed up. Um, yes, it's, uh, it's it's already a nice uh, challenge to to fight with uh, Alpine uh, skier because they work a little, work a lot on the le legs and uh, I have maybe more of a charge uh, in uh, on the rounds. But uh, yes, I uh, feel that I, uh, I try today. <laughs> cool, Christopher. Um, yeah, Alpine skier. I'm sure you use the squat jumps in your training, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in, uh, in different ways. Mostly it's to jump really high in one time and not a lot of times when I use it, but uh, we use it a lot. Cool. Well, we'll see how you guys do in a repetition battle today. Um, so for those watching, um, Christopher and Kanton are going to be competing against each other in a 30-second squat jump battle. 
Um, so we have judges in the background counting. They're going to let me know who the winner is. Um, and then we'll announce that live to you guys here after the challenge. So um, without further ado, good luck to you both. Let's uh, get into position here. Um, I'll be timing on my phone and then I will uh, blow my whistle when it's time to start and then time to end as well. Um, and I'll, I'll give some milestones along the way. So uh, let's get in position and I will check with you guys to make sure you're ready. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Okay, I'll do a three, two, one, and then the whistle. Three, two, one. That's a little tough on Christopher's end, but hopefully we'll catch up. Looking good. Canton's got some box movement there on the indoor floor. Oop, there we go. Back there, about halfway through, 15 seconds here. Oh, strong competition from the both here. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, just in time. Oh man, that box was getting away from you. Yes. Yeah. Lift a little bit. Um, another really close battle, guys. Um, with 28 repetitions, Kanton, and 30 uh, for Christopher. So congratulations, Christopher. You're going to be moving on. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, Thank Kanton, you. how do you, how did that feel? I think the uh, the box slip in there might have been a disadvantage for you. Yes. <laughs> but very fast repetitions to start. You were looking super strong from the start there. So congratulations. And uh, yeah, thanks thanks for joining us for this first battle. For those who want to follow along with what you're up to, um, where can people find you um, on the internet, Kanton? Find me in uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, also YouTube. You will just write my name in the, in the Squitch bar, and uh, that's okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining. Christopher, uh, congratulations. How'd that feel? Ah, it was it was tough. It was uh, to make the squats and the jumps, and it's, uh, uh, yeah, it was heavy on the breathing, and uh, I just <laughs> tried to keep a high pace all the way, and uh, it was not a super long time, so I think that uh, made me have a good chance in this uh, competition. I think it would have been tough if it was, if it was one minute for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, next time we can try uh, one, one downhill in Alpine skiing, and after we change with uh, cross country. We actually have one of these competitions in Sweden where uh, they make on the gymnasium. It's like uh, high school. And then they have uh, the skiing and the cross country on the same school. And then they make this competition. Every okay. year. Yeah. And which athletes win? Alpine or cross country? It's Is different. It? But, uh, my friend that was uh, going on this school, he won because he was really good cross country, cross country skier as well. So he was almost uh, as good as the cross country skiers in cross country. So then he had good advantage. Okay, nice. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah. in, in the future, we can try. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Sounds like a plan. Well, Christopher, congratulations. We'll see you in the next battle. Kanton, thanks so much for joining us today and uh, good luck to you both in your off season. Thank you, bye. See ya.